Hiya. How long have you been up? Long enough for this to go cold. Couldn't sleep. Mind racing. Would you want a fresh one? It's long. <clears throat> I think I'll go back to work. Hey? Well, I've told the police everything. I've got that loan shark chap. Can't sit here staring at four walls forevermore. In fact, forget that drink. Now that you're out of the shower, finally, I'll go get myself ready. Hi, babe. Bill's off price look for job, so I thought I'd bring you a button. What's up? This reminds us. I could see him in here last thing at night, refusing to go home until the worktops are absolutely spot on. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to go home to Gail either, would you? I'm going to keep thinking about the lake. How frightened was he? Did, did he know what was happening? Don't. All right, your dad wouldn't want that, would he, eh? I like you, you know. I thought you were the best thing that happened to me. Well, that's not saying a lot, is it? Hey, considering your last boyfriend was David Platt. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Morning. Any news on Simon? Yeah, got a text from George. He's going to be home today. The number you were calling is not available. Please try again, Lectis. Flaming Rifle, right, try again later. What do you think he's up to? I don't think he's up to anything. I mean, don't you think it's strange that he's texted Leanne and not me after I'm the one who's been leaving him messages all the time? Did he even try and ring my phone? No. No, did he? Eh? Well, he doesn't know you back on, does he? Well, he could have tried to contact me. Look, they're catching a flight back today. It's only 24 hours. Yeah, well, what does that prove? If we can believe that... I mean, you don't just text somebody and then turn your phone off, do you? Can I get you to another drink? No, thanks. I think we've had enough caffeine. I still think this whole thing stinks. Oh, George and Eve have taken Simon on holiday at the back today. End of. Now, look, you've got me cross with him now because I'm getting one in the neck from you. I'll go get our coffees. Yeah. Mmm. Is that delicious or is that delicious? Yeah. yeah. Take your bread. Mm hmm. Every kid's favourite. Mm. Coffee. Mm. I will make it at home. It stinks. Now they'll nag me till I do. Well, bring them back here whenever they want it. Guys? They do like being here. Oh. And you? Daddy, can we have some more? Excuse me. Please. That's better. You can do some for me and all, please. Mm. My clothes smell a bit already. Okay. <laughs> Are you? Theresa's here for a trial. Guilty. <laughs> of persistent scrounging, constant sponging, and being in possession of a face that could frighten kids. <laughs> Mrs. Park, share a cell with Miss Kettle. Take no notice. For my trial, could I use Kenny's machine? It'll have had a lot less use than the others. <laughs> Cheeky bird. Oh, I. Are we expecting blood on the floor? I've no need for another gobbling machinist. I'm after a cleaner. About your level, that. Scrubber. <laughs> Take it or leave it. I don't suppose I could start with her gob, could I? Fizz, love, would you show where the toilets are, please? Got very high standards. Come on, Do you know, I have never loved another woman quite so much as I love Kyle O'Connor right this minute. <laughs> Oh, you're going in then? Like I said, can't sit around staring at four walls. Yeah, but... If it feels wrong, I'll come home. It's just everyone's going to be asking questions, that's all. And? And you'll have to be careful about what you say. I mean, you know how people like to twist things. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Cup of coffee before you go. Thanks. I think I got through this without you. See you. Hey, McGough, all right? Fine. Good. What are you doing? Well, I just thought while you were taking to school, I could be getting on with all this. Well, there's no need I can do that. Oh, my mum can. No, I need a lid. 
Let's have a cup of tea. I'm gagging. You have one. Becky. Stevie, I owe these loads of hours from when I was putting my feet up. Morning. Uh, I have brought something for Mummy. Or rather, Junior. They were Freddy's. I thought I'd chuck them out, but I had a big sort out and ta-da! <laughs> what? I lost it. It was a miscarriage. Oh, Becky. I am so, so sorry. No, it's no biggie. It happens to loads of women, right? Oh, come here. Uh, we're just about to have a cup of tea, so... Uh... Morning. Do you sell washing lights? Yep, we do. New assistant. Old assistant. Yeah, this is my wife, Sanita. Oh, right, hiya. Hi. And darling, this is uh, Fizzy's husband, John. She's married. Smashing. I remember reading in the newspaper she got mixed up with a nut who kidnapped Rosie Webster. She forgave him and married him. Uh, uh, yes. Do we sell large shovels? I really need to dig myself out of this hole I'm in. Uh, I had no idea, obviously. I'm sorry. The washing line's for the backyard, not tying someone up. If there's any consolation, there's still plenty, including your husband, who think that Fizz was mad giving me another chance. <laughs> not interrupting anything, am I? Don't ask. Oh, why not? Well, I think that's covered by Don't Ask. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I've seen you two together's made my day a bit better anyway. Mm. I actually sent you to buy him chocolate, tell him he's busted. Ah, just the chewing gum, then. Mm -hmm. Do I, uh, do I look any different from yesterday? I didn't see yesterday. Now, why should you look any different, kid? Because last night, a goddess, not a minger, not a munter, not a five-pinter, by the name of Candy and I, swapped telephone numbers. Ah. Oh. Oh, was she drunk? She uh, lost a purse, so I lent her 20 quid for a cab. Oh, that's a nice thing to do. Not really, cos Kirk had been chatting her up all night. Oh. Well, no wonder she wanted a taxi. So, I'm left with a problem. Telling Kirk. Two problems. When do I ring? Eager, keen, cool. So many ways to get it wrong. What, leave for a few days? Treat him mean, keep him keen, and, uh, well, why tell Kirk he's a loser? What? Give her a call today, and Kirk is your friend. You've got to tell him. Yeah. Well, this is no way to celebrate your birthday. And the shop front won't sweep itself. And you can't leave it for one day. Uh, I have to get out of there. Mary insists on singing happy birthday to you every two minutes, alternating between the traditional version and squashed tomatoes and stew for a bit of variation. Well, she's only trying to make the day special uh. for you, and she's not the only one. This is Rita's writing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Mary, to please. you. Mary, please. I said no fuss. Hi, Emily. <laughs> oh, a card. Open it. I am doing. Uh. She knows you so well. Oh, oh. oh she thought you'd prefer this to one with the 70 today by Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pleased with yourself. Forensic report from the boat. Evidence of a struggle and traces of Joe McIntyre's blood. <laughs> One small step from there to clouting him with something. Something heavy. She was the last person to see Joe alive. They have a stand-up fight and he ends up dead. She gets rid of a flaky, debt-ridden husband and stands to pocket a small fortune from his new life insurance policy. Let's bring her in. Hey, you and uh, Graham went on a rampage last night? No. We went into town. We spent the night trying chat up lines like, do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk? Doesn't work. Yeah. And neither does. If 
I could arrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. She seems to be coping well. Mm. I reckon it'll be over soon. Oh, I do hope so. Well, either it were an accident or that lawn shark did catch up with him. Well, I just hope there's no trial because that would be so upsetting for everybody. Here we are. And uh, I haven't had a chance yet to say how sorry I am. Thank you. Is it true about that loan shark? Is what true? That he murdered him. How do you know about that? Uh, that's what they're saying. Well, when they say any more, perhaps you'll keep me informed. Yeah, small scotch, please, Liz. Right. So listen, which one of your, um, uh, chat lines words? None. Money did. I, uh, I won't bother. It's dead quiet. Friday dinner, it's bound to get busier. Well, Lloyd's covering for me, so I can help out. What is up with you today? You're ashamed of me. Hey? Yeah, you don't want me out in public. The wife who can't even do pregnant properly. Don't be barmy. Yeah, I might be able to do, you know, drinking, smoking and having a laugh, but got your mates for that, haven't you? And, and you can do one night stands for the rest, so why even bother with me? Because I love you. I lent her money for a taxi. Well, she gave me a phone number so we can have another date and I'll get my dosh back. This, uh, this uh, damsel in distress, was her name uh, uh, Candy by any chance? Do you know what? No. No, Graham, I mentioned her name. What was all that about just now? Do you and Becky? She thinks I'm blaming her. It's anything but. I mean, I've even told her we could try for another baby straight away. You didn't, did you? Yeah, of course. She says that's what she wants. She won't have meant it, though. Why not? This whole thing has been difficult for her. Getting pregnant by accident. Not being able to tell you. A mother. And now losing the baby. Been a piece of cake for me, though. We all grieve in our own ways. I have a feeling for Becky, hers is having a go at anyone who's in the line of sight. Oh, John, could you spare me a minute? Yeah, sure. I'm writing to the council to complain about the state of the Red Wreck. Would you just have a little look at the letter for me? Yeah, I'd be glad to. <laughs> oh, um, I'll just see to Kirk first. OK. Yeah. Two teas, please. Coming up. Hiya. Have you told him yet? Coward. So, you have news? That last, last night, Candy. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I might remember her. But, uh, Cheers. I'm going to ring her. Why? Well, I lent her 20 quid for a taxi. She wants to meet up so she can give me it back. Me too. I've got a number here. Me too. Dude, sorry, Candy's ringing me. But I'm ringing her. <laughs> Hello, Candy. Hello. Thanks for ringing, Candy. That's OK. Why well, have you got Candy's phone? I haven't. And here, I think you mean the park ranger was uninterested. Was disinterested. Would mean that stuff going on in the park really was nothing to do with him. Well, so I've never been sure which was which. Our English teacher at school was awful. <laughs> if it had you instead, that GCSE would have been an A star. Mm, well, I wish I had more pupils who were as prepared to listen. Hiya! Hello, love. Are you on the cake, Rob? Yes, make them creamy, make them sticky, but make it quick. Carla's not noticed I've nipped out. <laughs> She's ringing me. Hey, wait till I tell her. Hi, Candy. Hey, you'll never guess what, right? Me? Kirk, she give me your phone number and you mine. So I will be contact her about our money. <sighs> well, I bet you were the teacher everyone wanted. Well, hardly. I'm sure you were. Do you miss it? What, when I've got a job with as much free tea and coffee as me bladder can hold? No, of course not. <laughs> Try 
fallen off asleep. No. That row before in the hall. Has Steve sent you up here? Because if he has, I'm hey, fed up with hey. him. No. No, he didn't. I do know how you're hurting. I know I shouldn't. But I keep thinking about baby, I'll never old. The kid's face that will never light up when she sees Father Christmas and first day at school. So it was a little girl then? In my head, yeah. Little girl first, give her everything I've never had. And boy next. Hey, you know that homemade angel that I put on the Christmas tree every year? Even though it's raggedy, past its best. A bit like me. <laughs> I had a little girl. Katie. She would have been 18 now. What happened? She was premature. She only lived a day. I'm so sorry. Well, at least I did get to hold her. <sighs> but every December, when I put the angel on the tree, I think what my Katie would have done that year. You. Yeah. I'm sure she's looking at you, looking after you, eh? I am not telling you this to say get over it, being there myself. But what happened was the beginning of me and Jim drifting apart, even if I didn't realise it at the time. You and Steve have got to get through this together. Don't fight each other. Kittens on my phone. Oh, how sweet. I assume they're clothes. What, Trev? Or the kittens? <laughs> uh, I'll do these. Have a drink on me, Teresa, love. You could eat your tea off this. Thank you, but I've been using plates for, oh, years now. Well, well, you've missed a bit. Mm -hmm. Listen, when you said you could eat your dinner off it, I, I didn't realise you actually had done. Yeah, but I've, I've done that bit, definitely. It's sloppy. I don't accept it from a machinist, and I'm certainly not accepting it from a cleaner. Well, just hang on. Someone's just done that. Hiya. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I will be when Simon's back. You know, it feels like, um, I don't know. It feels like I'm not complete when he's not here, you know? What? What are you looking at? I don't know. I don't know if I'm looking at a time bomb or a man who can control his anger and... I don't know if I can cope with it much more. Oh. So what are you saying? You're leaving? I'm saying it's like walking on eggshells around you, Peter, and it frightens me. You're frightened? Of me? For you. I'm frightened, you know, as well as you pretend. Just leave it. Lee, we need to talk. Leave it. It's you George. Hey, George, where are you? Can we go right back? What about she's gonna do one over the back fence? Hey, it's always the quiet ones. It 
take him away, they keep him longer than expected, then they have the flaming cheek to turn round and say he's tired. Maybe you should wait until tomorrow. All right, just don't go in, all guns blazing. Hey, I'm not having anybody dictating things to me. Hiya. Is your mum in? I'm not she's not answering, no. Well, when will she be back? Any time now. Do you want to come in and wait for a bit? But, but, but surely you can advise people where to put the bins? My only concern is that they buy the kerb on bin day. Sorry. Some public servant you are. If I told you where to put your bin, would you do it? Yeah. Are you being offensive? As if. Ooh. Right, they're probably coming to tell you that loan shark fellas confess. Good. Mrs McIntyre, we'd like you to come to the station. Well, come inside. David will put the kettle on. The station. Please. But if she doesn't want to go... Mrs McIntyre? Well, hang on a minute. Are you arresting her? Try and stay calm, Mum, yeah? Coronation Street can...